Welcome, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in Los Angeles, and today we are going to make a warm chocolate sauce. Let's get started. We're going to need three quarters of a cup of half and half, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of butter, and five ounces of chocolate chips. These are semi-sweet chocolate chips. You could easily uh, change this for milk chocolate chips, uh, bittersweet chocolate chips. You could even do some white chocolate chips and make a completely different sauce. To begin with our sauce, we're going to take our half and half and start to warm it up in a pan over a, a medium high heat. Going to add in our butter and our sugar. And we're gonna let this melt and we're even gonna bring it up to a boil. One of the things you'll notice here is that the milk, or the half and half in this case, is gonna to start to boil around the rim of the pan. I'm gonna stir in this butter and get it to melt. The sugar is gonna melt at the same time. Once I start to get a nice bubbling going into this pan, I will go ahead and add in the chocolate and basically stir the chocolate around until it gets melted. Really important that uh, as the sugar is melting, it's gonna have a tendency to want to settle to the bottom of the pan. It's not a bad idea to get your spatula and go along all over the bottom of the pan and even up on the sides. If you're noticing that, for example, here I'm getting a little bit of caramelizing, some butter actually got up to the side of the pan and it's starting to turn golden brown, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the heat a little bit and let this start to bubble. And I'm actually gonna cook it at a low boil for a couple of minutes and what I'm looking for is a little bit of bubbling. I can actually feel with my spatula that the sugar is melted, so I don't feel any kind of granular quality against the bottom of the pan, so I can actually stop stirring. The more you stir, the more you're actually gonna cool off the sauce because you wind up disturbing the surface tension and you wind up cooling it off. So you're gonna leave that alone, and you can see very shortly we start to bubble along here. And bubbles are gonna to start to come around the edges, and then it's gonna to start to bubble up on the center of the pan too. I'm gonna to let this cook for just a couple of, uh, for about a minute or so. Spatula is uh, very important. You wanna utilize one that can really take a, a high heat. This is a, a silicone spatula that can withstand 450 degrees. A standard rubber spatula, or if you have a spatula at home that's made out of a hard plastic, you might find that it'll actually start to melt when you wind up getting along the edges of the pan right along here. So that's not going to be ideal. You could use a wooden spoon as well, but the spatula is really great to really cover the entire bottom of the pan and along the side of the pan. So after two to three minutes have elapsed, add in our chips, stir that in, and let the hot liquid in here melt this chocolate. You could utilize a, a bar form. Really important that you wind up taking the uh, bar and break it up into chunks and then take those chunks and chop them up into really small pieces with your knife. If you wind up utilizing really big chunks inside the pan, they're not gonna melt rapidly enough and you wanna make sure that they get really nice and melted and you also wanna make them, you wanna have them melt quickly. So that's why chips come in really handy because they have a smaller size. If it turns out that the liquid is cooling off too rapidly and the chocolate isn't melted completely, and the way to tell that is it should be absolutely smooth. It should have no lumps of chocolate in here at all. Then I can always put it back onto a low heat if I need to, just to gently reheat this. But I think we're gonna be just fine. I'm gonna stir it together, and it's gonna take just a little bit of stirring to get the half and half to blend up with the chocolate. And you can see when it does that, it's gonna have a really smooth appearance to it. Once I get that nice smooth look, our chocolate sauce will be finished. We can cool it off. We can store it in the refrigerator. It may firm up a little bit when it gets cold. It could easily be reheated in a microwave, 20 second uh, bursts, and then give it a stir. Or a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just pour it back into a pan like this one. Add in a little bit of milk or a little bit of half and half and slowly warm it up until it gets completely melted. This is our chocolate sauce. One of my favorite things to serve with a warm chocolate sauce is a very plain cake or even a cupcake. This is a vanilla cupcake, so the flavor is very subtle and it'll actually be contrasted really well with a really rich uh, and intensely flavored chocolate sauce. I like to, to actually take the sauce, and get a little bit onto the center of the plate, use the back of the spoon and spread it on around. This is what we call mirroring the plate. Take the cupcake and just set that guy right in the center like that. 
We could easily garnish it with some additional uh, chocolate uh, shavings or maybe even some mini chocolate chips. You can find those at the uh, grocery store. A uh, little sprig of mint here along the side would add a nice little green color contrast. Uh, another thing that this would work really well with would be uh, spooned over uh, some vanilla ice cream. Uh, would work really well drizzled onto a piece of uh, chocolate pie. And this is one use of our chocolate sauce, our warm chocolate sauce. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on other links so you can get other recipes. If you don't see something that interests you, email a request to requests at mahalo.com. Also be sure to subscribe so you can get lots of wonderful additional information. Thanks and I'll see you soon.